Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Today is Friday. Praise God. Woo! Glory, glory, glory. Praise God. Now, I've always told you I'm excited about Fridays because it gives you and me too the opportunity to listen to these words again and again. Hey, go listen from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today's own praise God. It's, it'll bless. That's what you do with your weekends. Take time to review every word that came to you within the week. That is where you'll find wisdom. We're talking about the most important thing. And before we enter today's broadcast, can we make demand for our daily bread? And you know, on Fridays, you make demand for Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So expect big things today. Praise God. Say with this with me. Say, Father, my heart is open to receive my daily bread. And everything I would need this weekend, I receive it right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, this is just like what the Lord told the children of Israel about the manna. Eat it for that day. Don't keep it till the next day. But then the day before the Sabbath, it says take enough to cover the Sabbath day. So now, because there's the we're not going to do a broadcast tomorrow uh, and on, on Sunday. And where we are concerned, take enough today. Receive enough. Praise God. Now last it till Monday. God bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. We've been talking about the most important thing. We are. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been so blessed. Praise God. Now, I'm te- now, I've read this. This is one of my anthem scriptures. I'm telling you the truth. This is one of my anthem scriptures. So, so when the Lord began to, to move on my, on my heart to teach on this at the beginning of the year, oh dear, you should, you should, um, what's the word now? You should um, lock this message down. And listen to it every day. I'm telling you the truth. It will help you. You know, it's not just listening to it once. Listening over and over and over. You can download it and play it anyhow. Play it. Just look. Just listen to this message. Praise God. I'm not saying this because I preached it. I'm saying it because the, the, the Holy Spirit is sharing some deep things inside this. That is blessing, blessing me also. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so now we are in verse 12. Now let's read from verse 11 again. That's what we stopped yesterday. It says, Proverbs chapter 8. For those of you that have not been following, Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 11 says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. Now, verse 12 says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. Now, you remember the first pain he, he said to the, to the simple ones. He said, To you, O simple, understand prudence. If you want to walk with wisdom, then prudence will be your friend. Yeah. If you want to walk in wisdom, prudence must be your friend. Because he says, I wisdom dwell with prudence. Uh Uh-huh. I told you what prudence is. Because of prudence, you will question things. You will search things. You don't just jump at things. And wisdom is that I dwell with prudence. Me and prudence, we are pals. <laughs> That's what wisdom is saying. And find out knowledge and discretion. It is when you dwell with prudence, you will begin to find out knowledge and then you'll begin to see discretion. That's what wisdom helps you do. A man of wisdom is not a man who's rushing to do anything. It's not a man. You can't rush a man of wisdom. You have to do this. You have to do it now, 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 now. Oh, there's this investment. You have to invest in now, now, now. Oh, come on, hold on. Hold on. What is it about it? Sir, there's no time to explain. You just have to take this action. Sorry. Let it go. Why? Because you need knowledge. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now he goes on. Verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Now wisdom have stopped talking about herself. And he's beginning to give you the full expression. He says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. A man who fears the Lord, naturally, he will hate evil. When people are into evil stuff, whatever it is with their words, with their actions, it's because they don't have the fear of the Lord in them. And you know, he had said in another place, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So what does that tell you? The moment you become friends with wisdom, wisdom will produce in you the fear of the Lord. Now, what do you mean the fear of the Lord? Is it the shiva? Hey, God is here. No, 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 no. The fear of the Lord means, simply means the consideration of the Lord before you do anything. That's what it means. So in the New Testament, this thing would have been rendered the love of God is to hate evil. Yeah. So the Bible says, because the Bible says, um, because the, the fear here he's referring to is the reverential fear of the Lord. So we don't fear the Lord like quick when he speaks. We love the Lord. And because we love the Lord, we consider him first. So now, now, why is it interpreted the fear of the Lord mostly in the Old Testament? Because of the mentality that they have where God is concerned. So they have this mentality that God will deal with you if you don't do right. But now we, we understand better. So we don't serve God because he would punish us. We now realize that he, he's done everything good for us. He's done everything to make our lives better. So why don't we love him? So now because we love him, we consider him first before we do anything. You see that? Now, a man loves his wife. And because he loves his wife, anything he wants to do, any decision he wants to take, his first thought is, how does this decision affect my wife? Is my wife going to agree with this decision I'm taking? Or is this decision going to affect her negatively? Oh, I can see it's going to affect her negatively. No, you know what? I won't do it. Why? Because he loves his wife. Now, someone else looks at him and says, why would you do I just realized this thing is going to affect my wife negatively. Okay. So, what? Are you, are you scared of your wife? Hey, Mr. John is scared of his wife. Why do you say Mr. John is scared of his wife? Mr. John was, wanted him to do this. Thing. He said his wife will not, it will not go down well with his wife. So, he will not do it. It means he's scared of his wife. You see how it plays out now? To the one who understands and who walks in love, he doesn't want to offend his wife. Not because he's afraid of what she will do to him. But rather, he's in love with her and he doesn't want to lose that love or lose that moment. He doesn't want to strive or anything to, to happen to that love that he has or he enjoys with his wife. It's the same thing with the Lord. Praise God. So to hate evil, said so the fear of the Lord, the love of God is to hate evil. Understand that. And it says pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth. I hate. Wisdom say I hate it. Pride and arrogance. I hate it. I hate it. Pride, arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth. Take note of this. Pride, arrogance, the evil way, the perverse mouth. Wisdom say, I hate. Then look at what it says next in verse 14. It says, counsel is mine. Counsel is mine. And sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Hmm. All right, let's go further. 
Let's see how far we can go. We can finish this up. We we continue next week break because this. Now listen, you've got high come. If you settle down with this, I'm telling you, 2023, you'll be cruising, <laughs> cruising with testimonies. Praise God. Now he says, by me, verse 15, by me, kings reign. Wow. You know, some of you may have heard me say this before. And I got it from the Lord, actually. The safest place, and, and, and somehow, this is the reason people fight for leadership positions. When I'm in leadership position, in, in a country, will fight to be their president. Um, you see all manner of people like, I want to run. And you're wondering, ah, this man is old enough. This man is sick. Why does he? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Anyone who knows the truth about authority, leadership authority, authority of the land, anyone who knows the truth about authority knows that that seat of authority is the safest place anyone can live or anyone can be. The safest. Spiritually, the safest. Yeah. The reason is this. Why do I call it the safest? When you sit on that place, automatically you are protected by angels. Before a king, a president, or a ruler dies, uh, they don't die accidentally, they don't die suddenly. Before they die, Ah, you know, very amazing. <laughs> you, read, you read about King Saul in the Bible now. King Saul, God rejected him from being king just when he was three years on the throne. God said, no, 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 no. This guy, he will not do my way. I have rejected him. God told Samuel that. But you know, Saul was still on that throne for 40 years. 40 years he was on that throne. Nothing happened to him. Why? Because God I pray you understand this. I pray you understand this. You remember King Ahab? God had to hold a meeting and say, Come, guys, um, who would deceive Ahab to go to war so that he will go and die there? Now, that's how much God respects authority. Before a king dies, before a president will die, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how sickly the person is. So, people are sick. And then the moment they sit on that throne, you'll be amazed at uh, what's going on. The reason is this. Wisdom is on that throne. It doesn't matter who occupies it. Wisdom is there before they come. And he says, by me. He didn't say, by me, righteous kings. Right? No. Every throne, wisdom is attached to every throne. Whether good or bad. Wisdom is attached to every tree. So this is the reason you see people fight to get into that tree. Because they enter into a safe place where even before they die, words will come to them that, hey, you're going to die. And if they are smart, they can change it. When you see people fight for power, that's the main reason. You want to be safe spiritually. Praise God. Yeah. Because wisdom is there. That's why it says, by me, kings reign. Every throne, wisdom is there. So nobody just dies. They will be informed first. 
before they die. Because there is an angel that protects that throne. And not the angel's job is to see to it that nothing happens. So he's a very sick man. He, he, he gets into that throne and then he, he, everybody's wondering, I, I think this man is going to die. But then he, he lives on and lives on and lives on. It is because of wisdom. By me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. That's how it works. By me, princes rule and nobles, all the judges of the earth. All of them. When someone sits on that seat to judge, wisdom is available. It doesn't say they are born again or they are not born again. Wisdom is always available to them. And, and, and now, when he says, by me, say, do kings reign, rulers decree justice. And by me, princes rule and nobles, all the judges of the earth, all the judges of the earth. God does not allow them perform without providing wisdom for them. This is the reality of our life. But the question is, how many people know that wisdom is there? We're going to continue on this next week. Obviously, we didn't finish. Because going down, we we'll, we'll now get to understand, okay, so this is what wisdom is. Okay, this is how I know I'm relating with wisdom. We're going to get into all that next week. Listen, this year is going to be a good year for you. I know. I know. Don't, don't be perturbed about what's happening outside. Stay on the good that is happening inside. And I pray for you right now. That the spirit of the living God will carry you by himself. Throughout today, throughout this weekend. I pray the Lord will open the gates of this year fully to you. I pray your eyes will be open to see everything God has deposited for you for 2023. And I pray your heart will understand and that you will walk in the path to receive all these things. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have the best weekend ever. God bless you. Bye-bye.